Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video inside Tale of Kingdoms and today we've got something in store for you guys, something very special today. So what we're going to start off doing is getting our health up. There we go. Just like that. What I went ahead and did was, is I ran over to where it says cave over there, where that refugee camp was. I went ahead and mined out 16 pieces of obsidian because I need to get to the nether. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create this nether portal. Uh, let's see, where should we create this thing? Should we do it inside the house? Our house is a little small for that, but you know what? We'll go for it. Let's do... We'll do something like that. Let's see, do I have a block I can put underneath there? Let's do a piece of dirt. There we go. We'll put dirt like that. And we'll go one, two, and then three. One, two, and then three. And then we're probably going to have to mine out these guys here to make our obsidian top. And then I've made myself a flint and steel to create ourselves our nether portal. Let's go ahead and break these things out for now. Looks kind of goofy looking, but hey, you know what? That's fine with me. All right, let's put our blocks back into here because we're really only needing to go to the nether for one thing. And that's some glowstone. So let's make sure we don't have anything on us that we really don't want to lose. Let's drop all this stuff here. Put the golden apples in there. We'll keep the furnaces and stuff. Let's get rid of the glass and the obsidian and our bucket that I made. We don't want to lose that. In the meantime, we'll throw some meat in there, get cooking, and then we'll, let's see, we'll split that up, and then we'll put this coal in here just to have it, so we can cook that, and let's head on into the nether, because like I said, all I pretty much want is to get some pieces of glowstone here. Alright, so, for starters, we're going to go ahead and put a waypoint right here. We're going to name it Nether Portal. Uh, let's make it a nice blue color. That way it'll kind of offset in the nether here. Is there any glow... St oh, there's some way over there. Some way up there. Is there any... Oh, sweet. Right above us. You can't get any easier than that. We're going to knock a couple of nether rack real quick. That way we can get up there. Just enough to get up there. And those scorpions are on fire. Okay, we're gonna stare ourselves straight up. Just like this. That way we can get all this glowstone. We don't need very much of it. But I just wanna have some. There we go. Just like that. Now at least we have a nether portal for if we ever want to come here and try and brave the nether fortress if we can actually find it. That's the, uh, looks like the nether is still rendering to begin with. Oh wow, and it put us way up here on a platform too. Yeah, it's still rendering out the, uh, the nether, but by the looks of it, I'm not seeing a nether fortress anywhere nearby. But we've got a few different ways we can go if we want to come back here, but... I've got plenty of stuff. We're going to be okay there. Okay, let's go ahead and head out of here. So the main thing that I wanted to show you guys is I need to go find a diamond. So what we're going to do, actually, now that I think about it, is... Um, let me think here. We've got torches. We've got food. Let's get rid of this stuff for now. We'll keep the golden sword on us. We'll put that in there. Let's put our bucket in there. Uh, let's see. We'll put that in there as well. I need. I want to make a mine shaft. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mine shaft right here in my house, just like this. So we're going to stare it. Just like this. So 
basically what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to get down to diamond level. And I'll go back and I'll make this all nice later down the road. But for now, I want to try and get down to diamond level. I just need one diamond. That is all I need. So we're going to just kind of dig ourselves down. We'll open this up really quick here. Because currently we are on 53. So we've got a little bit of digging to do. So our ultimate goal for this episode is to find one piece of diamond. So I figure this would be a pretty good way to dig ourselves down and make a strip mine for some diamond, hopefully. If all goes well, anyway. We're still a, quite a ways. I, I like to get right around the 13th level for diamond, personally. And looks like we're getting right underneath the ocean here, too. So who knows what we're going to find, if anything, down here. It's kind of a hit or miss project when you do these little mines like this, where you just kind of just dig down and kind of hit and hope. It's probably better that we go and find a cave and do this. Let's see, what are we at now? 34? We've got a little bit more, a little bit deeper to go here. got some iron down here though that's pretty cool I'll take the iron oh and there's another one and another piece I don't want to puncture into the ocean here though that's all I need to do is flood my cave out oh and some coal probably could have went back into those ravines those ravines have probably got diamond down there somewhere where are we at now 22 I want to go a little bit deeper. Okay, what are we at now? 19. So, 18. 17. 16. 15. Here's 14. And 13. Alright, so let's move this torch actually right there. And then we're going to just puncture off to the side here. I see iron right above me there. And then we're just going to kind of puncture a little bit here and see if we come across anything. If we don't, then maybe what I'll do is I'll run over to a ravine and then we'll dive into a ravine and see if there's anything over there. If I don't find anything here in the next couple of minutes. Oh, there is redstone. It's kind of a good sign. It means we're near lava, generally. Oh, let's put that back up. I don't hear anything yet. Let me turn this up a little bit. That way I can kind of hear. Not here in lava yet. Oh wait. I'm here in lava now. Yep, definitely here in some lava now. So hopefully... Oh. Right above us. Yeah, we got lava right above us here. You can see it dripping through the ceiling right there. Okay, we gotta be very careful here that we don't puncture into that and kill ourselves. Oh, we got some more redstone. I'll take all that for the experience. I just need one diamond here. That's all I need. Okay, let's go back this way a little bit. I heard a cave sound it sounded like there. Oh, what did we puncture? We punctured into something here. Oh, got ourselves a cave. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Very nice. That's exactly what I wanted to get into. All right, so we can turn that thing off now. 
Okay, all I want to find is one piece of diamond. If we can find that, then I will have achieved my ultimate goal for this episode here. That's what I... Ooh. We're going to go ahead and fence that off. Don't need any accidents here. What the heck? Okay, that's kind of strange. Okay, that's leading up. Whoa. What the heck is getting me? Is there anything behind this gravel? Gravel likes to hide stuff. Nothing there. Nothing up there. Let's put our torch in our hand. We'll drop that one off there. I'm hoping we can find diamond here. That's really what I would love to come across right about now. Oh, I, I hear a zombie. Oh, there's some lapis. We'll take that because we can sell that to the uh, to the blacksmith guy. He buys all that good stuff. I'm hearing zombies like right here. I think. Sounds like they're like right near us here. Or even like right on top of us. That is really hard to pinpoint where these guys are. Sounds like they're really close by. Might even be a spawner nearby. Nope, they're getting quieter. Let's try this way. I can hear them. I also hear slimes, too. Sounds like they're, like, right above us. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. These guys sound so... Oh, now I hear them, like, right here. Oh my gosh, I'm like going in circles here. I know they're close. We've gotta be getting close here. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I can hear them. See, we're still we're way too high here for what we're looking for, though. We're getting carried away with all these zombie noises. So what I'd like to do is we can slip past this, if I can. Ah, uh, shoot. You know what? What level are we at? 21? No, we're at 12 right now. Alright, you know what? I don't think we're going to find what we're looking for here. So let's come back this way. I think we're just going to waste a lot of time, to be honest. I think our best bet at this rate is to head over to a ravine and try and see if we can't find some diamond that way. So I'll cut it here, and we'll be right back when I get over to the so ravine. So I've just come out of my cave here, and this is what I come to find inside my house. I don't know how he got here, but that's kind of strange. I didn't know zombie pigmen can come into this world, but... Come here. I swear to God, if you make me hit Jorge, I'm going to be very mad. Alright, now let's see if we can rest. Monsters nearby. I wonder if it's because of this guy. Come here. I don't trust you. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Now can we go to sleep? There's monsters nearby. What other monsters do we have nearby our house? Oh, this creep. Oh, crap. 
I got my golden sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lay down. Alright. Now, can we go to sleep? Yes. Okay, now we can go to sleep and find the ravine. Alright, so after trying to find the ravine, I couldn't find it, so I said, you know what? <laughs> I went ahead and came back down here, and we're trying to find, so I've been pickaxing all and around this lava here. Just trying to you know, see if we can't find something because, like, all I need is just the one diamond, and I can kind of show you guys um, a whole new aspect of the game that um, I have on here that I haven't even shown you guys yet. So I think what we'll do is let's see, let's see, right about here is where we left off digging. We are digging in a straight line this way. We are at currently. Thir level 13 so I'm just gonna continue to pickaxe this way and then aha wow you get a lot of experience for getting those well I only needed the one so alright well in that case let's get the heck out of here I got everything I need I'm glad I was persistent. I, I, you know what's funny is, is I went and looked for that ravine, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Went to a couple of caves before I started pressing record again, couldn't find anything. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to come back down here. <laughs> and I also chipped away up here too, where you, you're constantly hitting your head on those little one by one tunnels. I chipped it all the way up here as well. Just like that. I guess I really don't need that tunnel anymore. I mainly just did it for the, uh... There we go. Perfect. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do now... Ooh, let's clear out our inventory. we got a ton of blocks here for mining all that. Let's get rid of all this, all that, the dirt. Let's get rid of the redstone here. The iron we can put in there and have that cooking. We'll take the steaks. And then in here we'll put the bones, the nuggets, the lapis, all that fun stuff. And we are going to take the flowers. And we are going to take the two buckets. Okay, so basically what I need to do... Let's move that to there. Let's move that to there. Move that to there. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves another bucket here. And then right outside my door... I would like to put... Let's see... I want some more dirt. I have to have exactly where I want this here. All right, so let's do, let's get some flowers here. And we're gonna put some flowers like this. Let's change that. Nope, that's good. Change that. And we'll put the flowers there. Just like this. And then we're going to knock this one out, that one out, and those four. And we got to knock this one, this one, this one, and that one. And then we'll replace those with dirt as well. And I've got ooh, barely enough flowers. Why does it keep putting that one as a white one? That's really going to bother me. All right, we'll get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Jorge. I'll let you out in just a minute. So let's put that water bucket there. Put that water bucket there. And then we are now going to sacrifice one of my diamonds. Uh, if I would have... You know, I'm not an NBA player, so that's why I failed at that. Okay, we'll do a long shot for three. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this stuff back in because we don't want to lose that. We'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. Put that in there. And that. And finally, what I've been wanting to show you guys. Into the Twilight Forest. I added it in earlier to my Tale of Kingdoms Let's Play. So before I go any further... We need to mark this one for a waypoint. We need to add portal. 
So let's make this one a bright color. That way we can see this one. Just like that. Perfect. There we go. Now we know exactly where the portal's at. So here... What in the heck is that? That was quite interesting. Whoa. I don't know, but there's a spawner right here that I'm breaking. I don't know what's up with that thing, but holy ca- Oh, sweet, and above- What in the world are those? Man, there's all sorts of stuff here. So they've done a lot of additions to the Twilight Forest mod since the last time I did it uh, later last year. There's a lot of new monsters, there's actual world boss fights, there's dungeons and caves, all sorts of new mines and minerals. There's a lot of, and also obviously you guys can see the trees, you've still got the awesome glow bugs, the cool looking Bambi reindeer type things. There's a lot of really awesome things here. Oh, what is that thing over there? We gotta go look. Oh, let's take a look at the map. Oh. Whatever that was, it just killed the sheep. Oh, it's just a wolf. With a purple... I'll take that. I was kind of hoping to come across... Let's see, we're looking for... There's some bunnies, and there's... Something else, looks like it's drowning over there. <laughs> oh, I just scared him off. It's not what I wanted to do. So basically... Like I said, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to do here, but I don't know if killing monsters here uh, drops off the experience and the money for the Tale of Kingdoms mod or not. So maybe we can find something really quick to kind of test that out in this Twilight Forest mod here. Some of the trees in this one are, ouch, are insane. Let's see if we can find anything at all to fight here. got to be something nearby. Oh, what do we got here? All these peaceful little birds. Oh, what is this dome? Oh, there's a bunch of colored rams. This is kind of a strange place for it. Oh, whoa. A hydra bar just came up. What does that mean? What is that guy? It's like a little Oompa Loompa. What is this thing? Oh, he's definitely aggressive, that's for sure. Where'd he go? Come on up here. Come on up here, little buddy. Twilight Hunter, huh? Well, that answers our question. He did not drop any... Whoa, did I see something else? What is that down there? What? Whoa. What is that? Whoa, these skeletons here have bows. Oh, they do drop money. Oh. Oh, see, look at the cave sizes in this thing. There is a lot of stuff down here, but I don't want to invent... What is this hydra bar that's come up here? What the heck is that noise? It's like a, a boss thing that just came up. Can I, like, just dig into the side of this thing? What the heck is this hydra bar? <laughs> okay, then. We've got ourselves our first boss set right there that I am not geared for. I'm in all iron armor with an unenchanted sword. And he's looking at me all creepy. Yeah, we're definitely not geared to fight this guy, but you know what? I will put a mark right here for him. <laughs> Hydra. That way we know right where he's at. That way when we do get enough gear, that's where we're coming to fight that bad boy. Let's go ahead and get out of here with that. So that answers our question then. There's our first world boss. We know that monsters do drop money for the Tale of Kingdoms mod. And there's a lot of other dungeons and stuff in here too that I was looking up. There's actual underground dungeons you can go through that has boss fights in them, chests. Um, there's also some other weapons and armor that you guys can get. Uh, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff in this mod, so 
I just wanted to get here just to roughly show you guys a little bit of the Twilight Forest mod before I ended it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to head back and get myself prepared to come back out here. In the next episode, we're going to come out. Ah! Ow, 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 ow. Ah! Ah! There we go. So the next time we come back, the next episode, we'll come back out here to the Twilight Forest. And we'll start fighting a little bit and start going cave diving and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time.